Welcome to this video on how to work out the days between two dates in Microsoft Excel. So I've got a really quick, easy, simple example for you as usual. usual. I've got an order date and then I've got an order completed date and I want to know how many days it took from the date of order to the date that the order was completed. Now I can obviously work that out manually, but there is also a function that I can use to input really quickly to make this happen. So let's go into that for that column straight away and use my equal sign. You know you can go into the formulas tab, you can use the formula bar, but I like to just type it in if I know which one it is and the function works much easier. So I'm going to do an equals because we always start with equals and then I want days. So I'm looking for days as my function. And when I click on that, you can see it wants my end date first and then the start date. So just be really careful with this. So my end date is the order completed date. And then I'm going to put a comma because I always put a comma in between each part of my function. And then it wants my start date. So my start date is the order date. Then I'm going to close my brackets and press enter. And you can see that it's given me nine days between the first and the 10th, which makes sense. Rather than having to do that all over again, I'm going to click on that first one, bottom right hand corner, click and drag that down. And that will pull that function all the way down. So I can now see there's a few of those orders that took quite a long time to happen. And then there are a few that happened really quickly on the same day and a lot less. So really nice way of seeing how many days are between two dates on an Excel spreadsheet. And if those dates cross months like one of mine does, then it will work that out really nicely as well. So please do have a go at that. Please like and subscribe and let me know what videos you would like to see next.